Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to solve a system of equation using Jacobi's iterative method. First of all, the system of equation we are going to solve uh, is this. This is a system of equation. Uh, so we have to find the x, y, and z from this system of equation. So the Jacobi's iterative method is uh, follows as we first isolate equations for these three variables separately. First, we separate the equation for x. The coefficient of x goes uh, goes to the right side and the whole equation goes to the right side. So we get this. The next step is to isolate y from this next equation and to isolate z from the next equation. Okay, the main thing here, uh, here n is written and n minus 1 is written here, here, here n is the number of iteration at first in the beginning of uh, Jacobi's iterative method x0 y0 and z0 are taken to be 0 okay so we can now find the value of x1 by using the values of x uh, y0 and z0 like this when we put uh, the value of uh, y naught and z naught in this equation in this equation uh, then we can easily say that this is going to be 0 this is going to be 0 all we have is 3 over 4 as we have here similarly we can find y1 and we can find z1 over here on finding uh, this is the first iteration the first values of x y and z are going to be The first values are going to be uh, 0.75, 1.5, and 0.875. Okay, so per using the same process, we can find these values until these all these three values are are concentrated to a single decimal point up to three decimal places, uh, like we have here. Just converging, 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 and finally we get at this point. This is how Jacobi's iterative method converts some things. Thank you for watching.